You, Dennis Joyce, you know every single episode. Yeah, except the pilot. Except the pilot. Yeah, I don't know who did the pilot, and I've never dared ask. No, I just we'll, 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 we'll gloss over that. Upset me. <laughs> Is there ever any time that you are ever stuck for something funny and witty to say? Because you're you're sharp. You're so sharp. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All the time. <laughs> really? Literally all the time. Well, Mock the Week does. Um, we record for about three hours, uh -huh. two and a half hours, and right. it gets shrunk to twenty-eight sure. minutes. So a lot of the time, we're all just sitting there, kind of. Wondering, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> wondering what to do. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it can be quite gladiatorial, can't it? I mean, it's quite, you know, obviously it's a game, it's competitive, it's a competition. Yeah, but I think that's the fun of it, isn't it? That you, um, you know, you, especially the bit at the end, the scenes we'd like to see where you yeah. sort of fight to get to the microphone. It's not quite like it used to be with Frankie, where you used to have sort of, you know, face-offs. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Bobby. As you, well, as and as you as just you go, no, thank microphone. you, it's okay. You, you, you go, yeah, you go you first, go. you're yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't want to be getting the wrath fine. of Frank for It's sure. fine. But it is a really, really, really funny... Do you go in there, like, do you sit, do you do homework? Do you think, uh, uh, or, is, or can you not prepare, really? Sometimes, especially in that bit at the end, you, you'll, you'll see that if someone does, a, someone does a line and it's so close to the one that you were going to do, oh. normally when it cuts to me, I quite often go, oh. <laughs> because I... <laughs> You, you were going to do that. Else. You had yeah. that there, Dave. That's yeah, yeah. really, really annoying. Yeah. You know Dr. Hillary, don't you? You guys know each other really well. Hillary. Is he doing any? Of the, is he cleaning any of the windows? I don't on think his he's way window down. cleaning, but he's kind of halfway there. He's doing pretty well. But you, you guys have, have you've done charity things together, runs and things like that. I've together, done the you? Great South Run with uh, Hillary, yeah, which is always very, very embarrassing. Not doing it with him, but if you do a charity run. You get the, they have elite athletes doing the great run series. Right. So w I was behind Gibri Selassie one year. He was like the world record holder. And it goes 10 elite athletes. And then it's me and Hillary Jones. Right. And then it's like 6,000 really good runners. <laughs> and <it's laughs> and just you like, go off. You all go off. Go yeah. off after the elite runs. And you spend six, you know, the next hour being passed by 6,000. It's quite disheartening. <laughs> it's incredibly but disheartening. That's a great yeah. thing to do, a great thing to do. Yeah. Now, look, tell me about Outnumbered. Are we going to see some more Outnumbered? Can we, can we bring it back? Can we see where they all are? I want to see what they're all doing. What I loved about it, though, is, is the whole kind of ad-lib thing. You know, the idea yeah. that you, you've got, obviously, you've got a rough idea of where you are and where you're going to go, but within that, you can really play, you know, there's a lot of things you can do. Well, I think the key to it was that people spoke the way that people speak, so it doesn't feel like you're doing lines. Exactly. Here is now a joke, and here's another yeah, joke, yeah, and, yeah. and the kids were great, weren't they? Yeah, they're, they're not kids now, though. I know. They're really, really not kids. I know. So they could be outnumbered grandparents. Yeah, Maybe. well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Now, look, I was reading the papers this morning and Jack D was saying that we've lost our sense of humour as Brits. Do you think we have? No. Do you think we've lost our sense? He was saying that people tend to be, you know, if you tell a joke, inevitably somebody's going to be outraged and cross. Do you think we've got a bit like that? Uh, maybe a yeah. bit, but I don't think so. But I, what I do think is that in the next two or three years, it's going to be, you're going to need a sense of humour. You are. To sort of get through it, actually. That's very true. So if we have lost it... That's We're very, to get very it bad back. timing, yeah. No, we do. I'll tell you back. what, great material, though, for Mock the Week, all of the things that are going on with Brexit, Donald Trump, eh, the craziness of, of everything. I mean, it's just... Is there anything, though, that you think is taboo that you can't tell jokes about, or do you think it's, it's OK to tell well, jokes? Well, I think there are lots of things that you probably shouldn't at particular times tell jokes yeah. about, but I don't think there's any particular subject which yeah. is taboo. And, and you sort of know, don't you? You've got your own sort of sense of what yeah. works and what but I think it's also true that as you you know when when I was doing the Mary Whitehouse experience in the early 90s oh, that. things that you thought you, you know that where we were breaking taboos then yeah you could uh, and jokes that we did you could now almost put on children's television <laughs> you know it's sort yeah. of it changes over time doesn't it yeah, so no, the, the bar so gets higher or moves sideways yeah, or yeah. does or whatever the bar does <laughs> or goes lower. <laughs>